All right, I'd like to do a quick update on some of my plants. Here's my Melatoniopsis. I have two different plants in here. This one and this one are just the same plant divided. It started, it sulked a little bit when I first divided it, but I do see new growth um, in here. It's kind of, but this one, I've always had wrinkly leaf problems with this. Uh, it's a beautiful yellow one with a really nice smell to it. This one in here is a new one I got from Trader Joe's. Only had two bulbs. Um, and here's new growth growing for me right here. And this new growth has no signs. <sighs> Try to blow the water off of it. <laughs> uh, this new growth has no signs of wrinkles. Uh, this one does not have a scent to it, and it's kind of more of a purple color. Now I'm not sure if maybe different hybrids and mixes are more prone to wrinkling leaves than others. Here's the Melatoniopsis. Uh, this one was the one that was kind of sad uh, when I got it. It's my smaller one. The bulbs are a little smaller and the flowers themselves are a bit smaller. Uh, this is my... it's in semi-hydro. Uh, and it's doing really well. I do have some wrinkling happening here, probably due to a vacation or something. But um, for the most part, here's one with little to no wrinkles. And then in here, right down there, I have one. And oh, there's one growing over here on the side, right here, this leaf. And this one, I really don't have much wrinkling, and it's in semi hydro, and I wasn't sure. That just shows you. Melatoniopsis love to be wet, they love to stay moist and damp, and the semi hydro is keeping them moist and damp. And there's the old roots in there. And they didn't even rot off. I mean, they look fine. A little algae build up and whatever, but I do spritz it. I kind of spritz near the top. Just to yeah, temperatures are 90 degrees right now. This one is in spike again. This is my little yellow one. Uh, the spike doesn't look like it's as big as my other spikes have been in the past. Uh, these buds are already forming. Usually, this plant throws out a much taller spike with a lot of branches. On um, the last time, which is here I think, it did uh, and it was fabulous. This one's kind of weak. Probably, I don't, I didn't fertilize it enough. Yeah, this is a weak spike compared to what I've gotten in the past. But this one has a lot of new growth. Oh, wrinkling leaves. Mm, that could be another sign of why. Maybe my spike's not doing so well. Um, I originally got this one to spike outside. I left it outside in the greenhouse, but I was kind of neglecting them out there. So, another reason why my spike might not be as beautiful. This guy doesn't want too much neglect. But, uh, yeah. In my greenhouse of hotness, oh good, it's 86 degrees in the greenhouse with a 22% humidity. Um, the lowest humidity is 16%, the highest humidity is 61%. It actually got up to 117 degrees in here and low of 45. So in here we have some good news and some not so good news. Uh, this one, this one's not doing well. This is a uh, my Encyclia Cordidora, I, I don't know. I'm really just gonna set this one, forget it, and hope for the best, is what I'm doing with that guy. This one here is my Zygopetalum, my old trusty Zygopetalum with lots of new growth, and da -da 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 a spike right here. So the Zygo sent me out a spike, I just fertilized it with some bloom fertilizer. Hopes it'll help that spike get nice and big. This guy likes the summer and drying out. Like this thing, I let this thing get really dry. And it seems to like it. It likes a lot of light. Likes to dry out. Yeah, Zygopetalum. This one does not smell good, but it looks like a Zygo. Then down here, we have my spider orchid growing in semi-hydro, doing really well. 
These two growths have been just grown off without a hitch since switching. Got another little growth here. This guy, this little growth's not doing so hot, but what are you gonna do? So all in all, happy with this situation. Um, this one is a Bolera, uh, the white kind of Bolera. And we have, turn it down here. We have new growth here, coming out there. And this one, this new growth right here, with some lawn wrinkles. I don't know, it's kind of weird um, how they grow like that. But this one I should get a spike off of, I hope. Uh, I did repot this into a bigger pot. Sometimes when you repot them, it sets them back, so maybe I won't get a spike off of that, but I could get a spike off of that. I don't know. All in all, doing really well. It has been getting a little bit too much sun. Um, if you can see how the leaves have a, a bleached, a bleached look to them. This is a, this is a plant that's getting, oh, I got a little burn here. This is a plant that's getting a little too much sun. So then here's another plant that's getting too much sun. So I moved it to the bottom rack. This is my old sherry baby that, um, I've divided this thing, I've abused this thing, I've put it through hell and back, and uh, this thing uh, still tries. This is, um, I did a back bulb right here. This little back bulb I found in the root mess when I first divided this plant, and so I said, oh, let's see what happens. So I took this little bulb with, like, no roots, plopped it right in here, and uh, boom, boom. So, growing a whole new plant, well, not really a whole new plant, but back bulb division, doing pretty well. That was just an experiment. Uh, it's not looking too hot. Really should take better care of it. It's also, I don't know if you can see, yeah, the color is uh, bleached out. It's getting too much sun. Eh. Yeah. So... I moved it to the bottom rack, so it, won't get, it was at the top rack. I didn't like being up there. This is another, it's part of the same plant. This is a division off of that plant. It needs to be watered. Uh, I've just, I've left this out for so long. And I got new growth. Old growth not doing too well, but new growth. New growth everywhere on this thing. And uh, this one's, uh, I don't know. It's... Uh, it is what it is. I gotta water it. Uh, what else? What else? This is my Zagonesia. Doing pretty well. I have a nice big growth here. Two nice new growths here. And usually if my Zygopetalum, because I keep them in the same conditions, and if my Zygopetalum spikes, this guy usually spikes. So once these develop more, I should get some spikes on that. But the other fun news is this. This is a dendrobium. Uh, one of the mini ones. Uh, dendro, like the foul dendrobiums, I guess you can call it. Anyways, let's take it over here. This one, I didn't really think it was gonna do anything for me. I bought it in pretty sad shape. And uh, I just neglected it. Totally neglected this one. I let this thing dry out, put it here and there. Just gave it light, kind of watered it sometimes. And um, now I have right there, new growth. Right here, new growth. It's one, two, three, and four down in there. There, four down by that stick. And five, whatever that is, cakey or something. So, <laughs> awesome. This one, giving me new growth. I really thought it was heading for the trash can, but uh, it's saying thank you for taking me because it was not a beautiful specimen, even at the store. So I think that's all for my outdoor plants and Miltoniopsis. 
I keep the Melatoniopsis inside where the temperature is, always stays lower. Oops. And these guys stay outside. So that's, that's my plant situation. And uh, doing pretty well. Except my Tulumnias aren't doing that great. But that's something for another story.